In the present video, I will be explaining how to compute the median when we have group data. And when I say group data, I refer to the data that are organized in a table like this. Here we have again that we, we saw this table in a previous video for the mean of group data. So the, these are uh, companies, 60 companies that was researched to, to see how much they spent a million of dollars in advertisement. So when I see these five companies, means that there are five companies that spend between 25 and 35 millions of dollars. And there are 10 companies whose expenditure is between 35 and 45 million of dollars, and, and so on. So we have the data organized in this way. We don't know exactly how much these five companies, each of these five companies, are uh, is the expenditure of, of each of these companies, but we know that they are between 25 and 35, because we don't know exactly. For that reason, we cannot compute exactly what is the median, but at least we can get an, a way to estimate the median of data like this. If we want to do that things, what we need to do is use this formula. Yeah? The formula is given by this. The median will be L plus L over 2 minus, I'm, I'm, I'm writing here F sub C divided by F multiplied by I. I need to tell you what, what is everything here. Eh? So L is the lower limit of the median class. N is the size of the sample. F is the frequency of the median class. F sub C is the cumulative frequency up to but excluding the median class. And this I is the class width of the median class. If somebody explain me in this way, I'm not going to understand anything because I don't know what is this median class. So the first thing is to know what is the median class. So we have several classes here and we, we need to know what is the median class. You can think that could be this one in the middle and maybe that's right, but this, what we need to do is the, the median class will be the class that has the data that is exactly in the middle. For example, here, maybe the data between the data 30 and 31. Yeah? So for that reason, first we need to know what is the, of these, uh, of these classes, which one contain the data in the middle. So the first thing is to do this. So I, I think explaining to you what is the data, how to compute the, this, or how to, to locate this class. And I guess it's this, because there are, so far the, this, this class has five data. This class has 10 data. In total, there are 15 data here, plus 21 data. So we'll have more than 30 data. So data number 30, maybe order, order this data from the lowest one to the highest one, data number 30 looks like is in this class. So this one is the median class. The median class will be the class that contains the median. Then when I say L is the lower limit of the median class, it means that L is the lower limit. So the lower limit of this class is 45. Or when I say F is the frequency of the median class, so the frequency of this median class is 21. How to get this median class how to notice, how to recognize it with a formula. The best way to do, for doing that, is getting the cumulative frequency, because if you get the cumulative frequency, you know how many data are below 35, for example. If I get how many data are below 45, and I notice that it's less than 30, I continue to the next class. For that reason, it will be a good idea to have the cumulative frequency First, so for that reason, I'm making here another column to see the cumulative frequency. You, you need to remember the cumulative frequency. The cumulative frequency is the number of elements lower than the upper limit. 
of the glass. For example, here these five elements will be the cumulative frequency of this class. But the cumulative frequency, cumulative frequency of the second class will be the number of, of elements, the number in this case companies, the number of companies that are less that, ex, that whose expenditure is less than 45 minutes, for 45 millions of dollars. Yeah? So in this case, for the, 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 um, we know that there are these five and these times. So when we get in the cumulative frequency, we just add the frequency plus the previous cumulated frequency. So we have 10 plus 5 equals 15. So this is the cumulative frequency of the class. 15 plus 21, 15 plus 21 will be this number here, 36. Yeah? So it will be 36. The, you put it in, in, in this cell. 36 plus 16, 52. So you type here 52. 52 plus A is 60, obviously. The cumulative frequency of the last class is the total number. Remember that all the class say 200, 200. When I say 60, there are 60, 60 companies that, whose expenditure is less than 75 million of dollars. And I know that it's less than 75 million because I say 275 millions. Okay, now that we have all the cumulative frequency, the, what we need to do is compute this n half that we have in the... We know that n is the total number of elements in the sample. So n half will be 60 over 2. So let's compute this n half equals 60 over 2 equals 30. So the first cumulative frequencies whose... So, so the, the, who is, is greater, that is greater than this number will be the one that belongs to the to the median class. You can recognize the median class because this median class is the one, the first one whose cumulative frequency is bigger than n over 2. So you see 5 is not more than n over 2, it's not more than 30. 15 is not more than 30. 36 is greater or equal to 30, so the 36 will be the, the first one that 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 satisfies this property is the first one that is more or equal than n over 2. So for that reason, this is the median class. It's not because it's in the middle, because sometimes there will be classes when the median, the, the median class is maybe at the beginning or at the end. So in this case is what we were expecting. Eh? We were expecting that it was in the middle, it was the, the median class. Okay, so now that we know that this is the median class, this one here, because it's the first class when the cumulative frequency is greater than n over 2. Now we know everything now that is here. What is everything? What is L? What is n? And what is everything? For, for example, here, say L is the lowest limit of the median class. So L is the lowest limit of this class. This is the median class. L is 45. N is the size of the sample. Okay, that was from the beginning. We know that it's 60. F is the frequency of the median class. So this is the frequency of the median class. Of this class, this, this is the frequency. Fc is the cumulative frequency up to but excluding the median class. You see all the cumulative frequency until the median class, but excluding this. So it will be this. I prefer to say is the cumulative frequency previous to the one in the median class. So Fc is actually this 15. So now we, that we know the cumulative frequency, we can check what is everything. Yeah? So we know now that L, the lower limit of the median class. We know also that F is the frequency of the median class. We know also that the cumulative frequency F sub C is the cumulative frequency before the median class. And finally, we know I, that is the, the size or width of the median class. So you can say here 55 minus 45, this is I. So this, the distance between 45 and 55, or the difference between 45 and 55, this is the, the width of the class. So it will be 55 minus 45 times, this is I. 
And then the only that we need to do is plug in to the formula all of these things. Let's do it. So the median will be 45 plus 30 minus 15 divided by 21 and multiply by 10. So what I did was just put everything into the formula. Eh? And then when I get this and I use my calculator, the answer is 52.1. And this is 52.1 millions of dollars. So th this is the median. We can say that 50% of these companies spend less or equal than 52.1 million of dollars. And the other 50% expend more or equal than 52.1 million of dollars. Let's see another example to see this clearer. Here is again another frequency distribution that you should know because you saw this in another video. When I was computing the media, the mean of this distribution. But now we're going to estimate the median. And remember, the formula is the one that we have here. The median equal L n over 2 minus F sub C over F multiplied by the width of the class. L is the lower limit of the median class. F is the frequency of the median class. I is the width of the median class. And F C is the cumulative frequency previous to the median class. So if this is the one that is not in the median class. This cumulative frequency is previous to the median class. So the first thing is to know where is the median class. And to know the median class, it will be a good idea to get the cumulative frequency. Make another column to, for the cumulative frequency. It will be a good idea. So the first cumulative frequency, remember, is the same, the first frequency, 33. But then later, the cumulative frequency of the second class is just the frequency plus this previous cumulative frequency will be 41 plus 33 and I have 74. 74 plus the next frequency give you the next cumulative frequency. 74 plus 11, 85. So I'm going to type, uh, to type 85 here. 85 plus, plus 5 will be the 90 here. Yeah? 90. 90 plus 4, 94, 94 plus 1, 95, and 95 plus 1, 96. So we have the cumulative frequency. This cumul cumulative frequency helped me to know which is the median class. Because when I compute the data in the middle, the number of the data in the middle, that when I divide n divided by 2, n divided by 2 is 48. What I need to do here is from top to the bottom, look which one is the first whose cumulative frequency is more or equal than this 48. And when I do this, when I found that this 74 is the first one that is more than 48. So this one here, this one here is the median class. Yeah? This one here. So the median class is this. Look at that. It's not in the middle in this case. And the median class is the here because this number here, the cumulative frequency, this is the first number that is more than this 48. Okay, so now we have everything. We have L is the lower limit, L is 375. F is the frequency, 41. And the cumulative frequency, this one here in the formula, is the cumulative frequency previous to this number, to, previous to the median class. Okay, that is what we have in the formula. So the Put this, everything, is substitute everything in the formula. So the formula is this, L is 375, F is 41, the frequency of this class, the cumulative frequency previous to the class is 33, and the width of the class is 125, because that when I subtract 500 minus 375, I obtain 125. By the way, all this table that we have worked so far they have the same width, all the classes. So obviously this i will be the width of whatever class. But it, it, there will be some situation when maybe they are different. So you always look at the median class and see the width of this class. 
Okay, now we can use the formula. Using the formula, we have the median equal 375. Now L was 375. So this L here is 375. This N over 2, we computed is 48. This, the previous fr cumulative frequency was 33. The frequency is 41, and the width of the class is 125. Just do, use your calculator to do that. So when I'm using my calculator, so I'm so, remember to solve this first. But if you have a scientific calculator, you can type this in just one step. And then the answer will be 420.73. Because this is in thousands of dollars, so that will this median will be in thousands of dollars. And that concludes the second example. I think with these two examples will be enough to understand what to do if we need to estimate a median of a group data. So in, in, in the following videos, we're going to see how to compute other measures in, for group data. Thank you.